So welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to set up a professional domain for your WordPress site. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, please click on the button uh, on the screen now and that will send you back to the first video where we'll be talking about what a blog is and the different options for creating a blog. Or if you want to create a free blog, click on the button on the screen now and that will show you how to create a free blog at wordpress.com which is much simpler to set up. So if you want to go ahead and create a professional WordPress blog then what you'll need is your own web server or you can also use a shared web hosting service. You can use your own domain name or you can sign up for a free .tk domain or cu.cc domain. So the web server you're using must be compatible with PHP, uh, MySQL and any mail server. What you're also going to need to set up your own blog is a domain name. This can be obtained using a domain register service. For example, GoDaddy, where you would just enter your domain uh, name. So we could create a random domain, see if it's available, and sign up for it. There is obviously a charge, uh, depending on where you are, for the domain name itself. Alternatives to GoDaddy are name.com, where you could also type in the same domain. And there's also namecheap.com where we can type in our domain here. So basically you can now choose your name for your domain. This is the address obviously that you go to to get to your blog. The shorter the domain name the better because it's easier for people to remember. Make something catchy and that will improve the rate at which people will click on your site. So once you've chosen a site to buy your domain on, all you need to do is add it to your basket. So if we go back to GoDaddy, we can click Add, and we want the domain only. Add that. You can also buy several other domains as well. This will protect your online identity, which means that no one else can take your name, essentially. So once you've added the domain to the cart, continue to check out and buy your domain. If you want to find even cheaper prices for domains, what I recommend you doing is going to Google and typing in domain registrar and finding a site that is uh, reputable, got good customer service and easy to use and that's cheap. So you could spend some time trying to find the best option for you. Please note that in addition to your domain name, you'll also need web hosting. This will be covered in the next video but you may find it easier to buy your domain name with web hosting, in which case skip to the next video now. However, if you would like to keep your domain name separate to your web host, please continue with the tutorial. So once you've signed up to a domain service and you've bought your domain, that's the first step in becoming a blogger for your site. What you'll get when you sign up for a domain service is a DNS zone file. What this zone file does is it basically tells any computer in the world where your website is. For example, when you type in www.yourdomain.com, it points that domain to a particular IP address, which is where your site is located. So when you get your DNS zone file, it'll pretty much be empty. What you need to do is add an A record at the bottom, enter www and the IP address of your web server, and also add an A record for nothing in that box pointed to your web server and that will tell your domain where to go to look for the website itself. Please note that any changes made to your DNS zone file will take several hours to update. This is because several DNS servers on the internet have to essentially talk to each other. And that means that when they're copying um, their zone files together, it can take several hours for the update to take effect. If you don't know what to put in the web server box, then don't worry because we haven't actually set this up yet. If you have your own web server then go ahead and put it in here. However if you don't, which I presume you probably won't yet, then click the relevant button on screen now. There's two options, you can click on how to create your own web server, which means that you can run it in your own home, or you can run it on a shared web hosting where you pay a monthly contract. So to continue with this tutorial, please click on the relevant option now.